Hi. <laughs> it's Monday. Your girlfriend's laughing at me. It's Monday. Today I go for my eye exam where they measure my eyeballs um, and do some things so that they know how to cut my eyes tomorrow. <laughs> Terrifying. The whole thing is terrifying. But this is the last day where I have sight for like four days. And the last day I'm allowed to stare at screens 24 seven. After today, I can't look at a screen for seven days. So I have a bunch of work to get done today. I have to upload everything today. And so Emily can post it for me throughout the week because I'm not allowed to look at my computer. Um, I'm also still not allowed to wear makeup. So it's, I haven't been able to film because I don't like filming main channel videos without the makeup on. But uh, I've pre-filmed everything and I'm just getting work done and I have to leave in about a half hour to go to my exam. I'm tired. This is my second cup of coffee today. Let's work. Squinting. E V O T Z. The number. Oh, <laughs> I was like, that's not a letter. My eyes are dilated, so I can't see up close anymore. I, I'm a mess. Oh four, oh five, nineteen ninety one. They are running me through the surgery today, so this is what I'm going to experience tomorrow, just so that I'm not stressed out. And they just numbed my eyes because they're going to measure my cornea. Is the machine they're gonna slide me under? So this is just so that I know what's going on tomorrow. Nothing's a surprise, and I'm okay with everything because I'm sure there are people who have been freaked out during or right before the process and couldn't do it. So I'm just chilling. My eyes are dilated and numb, <laughs> and I'm slightly upside down, so my nose is getting stuffy. <laughs> um, I'm done. I had to get these really cool inserts for my. Uh, glasses because my eyes are dilated like crazy. Uh, I did the fake procedure and everything went well. They said that my eyes are super healthy. I'm a really good candidate for this. And um, tomorrow's a surgery and I'm stressed. Uh, but after surgery, for the week after surgery, I can't look at screens. I cannot sweat. And I am not let, allowed to let anything blow into my eyes. Fans, AC, heat, uh, the AC in a car. I can't go on walks if it's windy and I'm gonna be very sensitive to light, so I have to wear sunglasses every time I leave the house. My vision will be blurry until Saturday afternoon. It's gonna be a mess, but and they said everything was good. They're very informative. I'm still, I'm, I'm not scared of the procedure. I'm not scared of the pain. I am scared of how bored I'm going to be. He says I'm not allowed to read. Nothing that strains my eyes, no staring. It's ridiculous. I can't stare at you. <laughs> I don't know what I'm gonna do, just constant glances. My eyes are not dilated anymore and I am back to work. And my eyes are dilated for about four hours, which means with my glasses on, I can't see up close, but I can see up close with my glasses off, but I can't see far away. So I was constantly like walking around doing stuff, taking my glasses on and off to see what in the world I was doing. Also I had extreme sensitivity to the light, so I couldn't like go outside. But I did meet up uh, with Joy for dinner. She was in town, so we went and grabbed some sushi. And now I am home, and I have about three hours more of work to do, and it's about 9 p.m., and I still need to take Blaze on a walk. I didn't take him on a walk yet today. He likes nighttime walks. So he does not do well in the in the sun. Like, if we go on a walk, and it's, like, slightly hot out, and the sun's out, he's like, I'm not moving. Good luck moving me. I'm 90 pounds of muscle. So I take him usually at night, but uh, I'm freaking tired. He's just editing with me. I gave him toys. He's a lump. He looks like a seal, the, the otter walrus seal. Anyway, I'm just doing work, getting things done so I don't have to upload while I can't see. I'm so tired, my eyes hurt. They put so many drops in my eyes today. This is the last night I'm gonna be able to look at screens for a week. Do you understand that? Do you understand that? I can't look at a screen for a week. You can't see me, 
But it's about 10.30 at night right now. Blaze and I are on our night walk. I was going back and forth when I needed to go, but when I looked down at my move ring and I had not moved enough today. So Blaze and I are on a little walk together. I finished editing Tuesday's video and uploaded that. I watched through Rachel Uncensored. Um, usually I don't watch them all the way through podcasts, um, but this one I felt I needed to and I'm glad I did. There's a few cuts I wanted to make and I got to do that. And that's exporting right now. And then tomorrow morning I have to, <laughs> I don't know why I'm talking to you while you can't see me. But tomorrow morning I have to upload Thursday's video and edit and upload a vlog. I'll talk to you when I when you can see me because I know you missed my beautiful face. Please stop for a sec. What? Stop. Thank you. This makes the night times why walks worth it. I love it. I love where I live. You keeping me company, big guy? Blaze went to bed after a walk. He got the zoomies and then ran into his crate. Oh, my girlfriend's asleep and I am trying to just rough edit my vlog for tomorrow. Oh my God. It's 11. I should go prepare my coffee for tomorrow. Oh, I just don't know what I'm doing. I'm so tired and I have so much to do and I'm, I'm just now processing the fact that like, I'm not gonna be able to work for a week. I, I think it just hit me like, I'm known that I'm not gonna be able to see for a week. Like, I'm not that I can't see, I can see, so. Can't. Where's my tripod? Hi. If you didn't know, I'm getting PRK done tomorrow on my eyes, which is the safer form of LASIK, but it takes a week to heal instead of being able to see the next day. I'm going to wake up tomorrow, get the surgery done at like 1.30, be home by like 3, 4, they give me a sleeping pill, and I sleep until the next morning. That right there stresses me out. I lose half a day. I do not like that. I don't even like napping because I lose an hour of the day. And then I wake up and my eyesight is blurry, it goes in and out of blurriness, and I have the sensation of cutting onions in my eyes for four days. Four days, I have life sensitivity, can't stare at anything. And then on the fifth day, my eyesight is like at 80%, which is legal to drive at that point, and complete comfort. But that for a full week after my surgery, I can't look at screens, I can't read, I can't stare at anything, I can't go into the wind, I can't let AC blow on me. I can't let fans blow on me. I can't let wind touch my eye. I can't work in my wood shop because I can't let wood chips or dust. I can't even put insulation in because I can't let dust get in my eye. I'm gonna have extreme light sensitivity, so I have to wear sunglasses every time I leave the house, but I can't leave the house if it's windy. That is seven days straight. I can't read. I can't do a jigsaw puzzle. I can't look at a TV. I can't look at a phone. I can't look at a computer. I can't scroll through TikTok. I can't tweet. I can't look at pictures on Instagram. My, my girlfriend's gonna be in charge of my phone. I can't work. I'm really stressing out about all of this. It just kind of hit me like, and I'm not even worried about the pain. Like I know that it can be painful, like not the procedure, but like the recovery. I know that can be painful. I'm scared about just like how my week's gonna look. And I know that's like, if all the problems to have in the world, that's the one to have, but like I can't work. I've literally not, not worked ever. Like I've at least done something for work every single day since I was 22. Like there's no, I've never had a day off. <laughs> Like, I don't even know what that looks like. I have nothing to do. He said, I can't even work out. Can I let sweat get into my eye? What am I supposed to do with myself? I'm scared of my surgery for the fact that I don't know what to do with myself for a week. I'm not gonna be able to re read your comments. I'm not gonna be able to read your tweets. I can't do cameos. What am I supposed to do with myself? I'm, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna be fine. I know I'm gonna be fine. I'm gonna take it one day at a time. I will find ways to entertain myself. I was like, well, I'll just take really long walks with my dogs and work out a bunch. I can't. He's like, you can do yoga. Apparently I'm gonna do yoga for three hours every day. and play with my dogs inside, but not too much because I can't sweat. I'm scared. I'm nervous. That's it. I'm gonna prepare for my morning and then go to bed. Should I be nervous about the surgery itself? I think it'll be okay. I trust the guy. He seems to know what he's doing. Everything seems to be like tip top shape. All the reviews were really good. He's a specialist in the field. He only works on laser eyes. I did my research. I feel prepared for the procedure itself. And I feel prepared on like how the process is gonna be with my eyes. I'm just not prepared to literally not function in 2022 for a week. I can't look at my phone. And so I never need these again. My entire life revolves around these. I love you. Good night. See you tomorrow. Because I'm going to continue to vlog. I'm just not going to look at the screen. <sighs> we can do this together.